Have you ever wondered what it would be like to take two separate animals and combine them into one super beast and battle them against other super beasts? Yeah? Does that sound interesting? Then have I got a story for you. So, let me start this off by, uh, by giving you some backstory. So, last summer I went on a hiking trip in Colorado with about ten other guys, I think it was. And, um, you know, we went hiking uh, for a week, uh, climbed two mountains and such and such and camping for a week and stuff. Anyway, uh, on the first, I think it was on the first night, one of our guides uh, told us this game that he played with the other people on the ranch, which is where you start out the hiking trip, where you take two separate animals and you combine them into one. And then you have a bracket style tournament where you battle against other people and their animals. But the way you do the battling is that you talk about your animal, talk about the powers it has, talk about why you think it would beat this other animal, and then you try to convince everybody else listening that your animal would win in this battle. And then they then vote on which one they think would win in a battle. And uh, so he brought this up the first night and everyone in our group thought it would be a really fun thing to do. So that's what we did. We each went around and we picked two animals to combine. And then we had to think of what they could do. Um, we can't give them like just crazy superpowers in a sense, but they have to be things that would realistically the animals would have. And then, you know, you could just uh, just scale them, scale them up or apply them to a dual animal. And, um... My animal, which I chose, I called the the shock and awe. <laughs> and I had chosen a hawk and a whale shark. And I did this because I had the uh, I had the idea of having, you know, this giant, like the biggest animal on the earth, the whale shark. And then it had giant wings that were to the scale of the whale. And so it could fly and it would be able to support itself because the wings would be, you know, scaled up to the size of the shark, so it'd be powerful enough to lift it up. And, uh, you know, it'd, it'd have little, like, towns or whatever, and, like, it could pick people up with its feet. It had all the properties of a hawk, but with the, the girth and the size of a whale and the strength that it would have to a scale. And, um, I thought it was a pretty cool animal, actually. Um, I, I actually say, I didn't end up winning this tournament, um, actually, the, the winner of the tournament, he had, uh, which was definitely one of the coolest names I've ever heard, it was the Pumapotamus, and he had mixed a Puma with a Hippopotamus, and, uh, that was actually a really good idea, you know, it had the speed of a Puma, the agility, um, but it also had just the, the sheer mass and destructibility of a, uh, of a Hippo. And so he ended up winning the whole tournament, and uh, that was um, it was really cool was hearing everybody else's uh, I, like animals and plans. Like there was this one somebody else had, which was a honey badger and a gorilla, which is a beast. <laughs> um, of course, I, me and him were both thinking the honey badger right when this guy said pick two animals to combine. We both thought honey badger, but unfortunately he got to pick first, so he took it. Um, but uh, it was real cool to hear all these people's ideas, and it was, it was a really fun thing to do. So, um, if I can have a, uh, have a comment for this video, it would be, what, would you, what two animals would you combine to, uh, to enter into a battle of epic proportions of animalness? Um, I guess that is a word, so don't, don't blast me for that. Um, but yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this story. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe if you like the content. Don't forget to check out my other videos. Annotations on the screen now and links in the description. Go check it out. And don't forget to link your animals if you have any. So see ya, bye!